Hi everyone, today I'll tell you more about the Work Study Diploma in Port Automation Technology. This WSD is open for PSA employees only. This WSD consists of 800 hours theory practicals training at IT College West. It is 20% of curriculum hours. It also consists of 3,200 hours on the job training at the company itself. Is 80% of our curriculum hours. Let me tell you more about PSA. PSA Singapore is the flagship terminal of PSA International, one of the leading global port groups in the world. To meet the future growth, PSA is currently moving into its next phase of development, the Tuas Mega Port. This new port will have a scale of operation larger than any port in the world able to handle up to 65 million containers every year when fully operation in 2040. PSA Singapore will need to nurture a future-ready workforce to meet this demand. There is a need for trained assistant service engineers capable of handling these new technologies specific to port operations. Here showing you the job role of an assistant service engineer. He needs to perform routine maintenance of container handling equipment and electrical and me mechanical systems, supervise maintenance team and external contractor, develop preventive maintenance plan, coordinate repair and maintenance functions, and lastly, collect analyze and interpret data relating to port equipment maintenance and performance. The desirable attribute of assistant service engineer. You must have an analytic mind to perform troubleshooting, good interpersonal skill to work with staff of all level and supervised contractors, comfortable working at height, Willingness to perform shift and standby duty when required and lastly, you must have good coordination and administration skills. Here showing you the work environment to be expected in PSA. Outdoor work environment, non-aircon work environment, working on an elevated platform and working in a limited moving space. This is a career prospect. The entry uh, to this diploma in port automation technology is at least must be a technical specialist or senior technical specialist. Okay. Upon graduation from this diploma in port automation technology, you will be promoted to assistant service engineer. And later on, with good performance, you may go even higher, like service engineer or senior service engineer. Total, there are eight core modules for this WSD. Number one, port automation. On completion of the module, trainees should be able to perform system check on port automation equipment. Number two, industry automation. On completion of the module, Trainees should be able to perform system check on automated storage and retrieval system ASRS. Core module number three, quality management. On completion of the module, trainees should be able to analyze crane maintenance data, develop predictive maintenance plan, and implement engineering and safety management. Core module number four, sensor and device technology. On completion of the module, trainees should be able to install and troubleshoot various detection sensors. Core module number five, network system. On completion of the module, trainees should be able to plan installation of network system, configure and wireless local area network, wide area network and IoT communications, as well as troubleshooting network uh, connectivity. Connectivity issue.
Core Module number 6, System Security. On completion of the module, trainees should be able to install and configure Windows and Linux operating system on end user computing devices. Core Module number 7, Electrical Motors and Control System. On completion of this module, trainees should be able to troubleshoot AC synchronous motor, induction motor, and servo drive. Lastly, they need to complete a company project. And on completion of this module, trainees should be able to apply skill and knowledge acquired to carry out a project relating to automated port operation or environments. So, what is on the job training? In short, OJT. It's a hands on method of teaching skills, knowledge, and competencies needed for trainee to perform a job. Trainee will perform OJT under guidance of a qualified trainer. For the OJT number, uh, number one, on the completion of this module, trainee should be able to apply relevant skill and knowledge acquired in the first year of the study to perform system check, troubleshoot port automation equipment, as well as perform preventive, corrective and predictive maintenance. Here showing you example of an OJT number one, the different uh, area you will cover. Right? OJT number two, on completion of the module, trainees should be able to apply relevant skill and knowledge acquired in second years of study to test and troubleshoot various network and control system used in automated guided vehicle or port environment. And here showing you the example of a list of skill acquired through OJT number two and lastly OJT three on completion of the module trainees should be able to apply relevant skill and knowledge acquired in the course of study to manage and coordinate relating to maintenance and troubleshooting of various port automation system and equipment and these are the skill you will require acquired during the OJT number three this is an example of a training patterns through this WSD. In a week of seven days, two days you will be having lessons at IT College West. The rest of the day you'll be doing your OJT in the company itself. Thank you for your time.